there's like two points to the run in my mind. It's the tree just reacting. And then after that, I'm, my eyeballs are at the end of the track where you can't really see anything like that. It's just leave and then there. <laughs> do it and we you know obviously everything kind of worked out for us in 2022 we did get the six and after running so many seven o's it's just been you know i know the car is like i guess usually talking about throughout this season and getting ready it's like the car is totally capable of six nines six eights pretty consistently so the goal is like six seven so it's like okay we have a car that's gonna you know we can play in the field this year so i was just excited to go and try our best and we were very prepared having the focus really with one car this year was different um you know prepping everything yeah we i was i was knowing it was going to be hard to win again but i was definitely seeing that as a possibility
yeah, I mean, being at the top of the list, um, yeah, it's right now, it's getting shaken up, obviously, with what's going on, and I'm pretty, um, I'm excited, and it's igniting that because it's like when the gap was big, and it's like seven twos, seven ones, seven O's, and I know how that goes for us, and I know everybody else that's trying knows, and it's a lot of it's a lot of work and you got to be able to go to the track and unfortunately we don't get to race up here that much so and we don't really we're not running the business and everything it's really hard to travel and race a ton and we didn't do much of it last year and and that might have cost us a little bit last year but i feel good to be number one and a lot of people are knocking and people are driving hard to take the number one spot of being all fast as all-wheel drive honda you know
one, I felt it pull because I was steering away from the wall and it pulled the you know, lead off and dropped on the right side and then it went to the wall. That's when I couldn't keep it off the wall anymore. I got a lot more power than we had before and I'm gonna find new stuff. You know, it's like every time you, you progress a little bit and make some changes for the better, there's always gonna be a cause and effect. Something else is like, oh, well, now that you're making this much power, you have to deal with this issue that you didn't have to before. So it's always a learning experience and World Cup is just, you know, it's the perfect spot to be at to test everything, you know, and if you've got it dialed in, the results are there. Like you said, we've, we've won um, a couple times now. So it's, uh, it's really hard to do though for anybody. Changed that obviously come at the last minute, but they were like in the plans. Yeah, little changes which all looked super good on paper <laughs> and like felt like I learned a lot. And we had the motor program dialed, um, thought we had the tune up pretty much there, but yeah, and I honestly, it's not the first time or the second time we've done this and we've made all the changes right before. Luckily, we did get to go to the track and shake it down. We had one pass. Unfortunately, it got cut short on our last testing session a month before we left for a couple weeks before. But it did make a pass and you know, we are like, okay, we're, we're gonna be fine. And everything looks, looks good. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of little changes.
The biggest takeaway for me is just seeing how big motorsports still is and drag racing in general, you know, and to see like all the fans come out, all the racers that come out. We always talk about how much, how much time is invested into all the cars that are out there and trying to perform at that level. And I just love seeing it because it, it lets you know that the sport is still, it's still there. It's still strong. It's still growing. Um, getting to see all the support and the people that are there, probably the biggest thing I'd take away every year. Higgins, Higgins. Um, I know I said uh, during the week of the off, I know it's been uh, very heavy to get me off, but this is the easy part. I was, I was the actual race day is the easy part of the World Cup, you think? The execution standpoint is the fun part. This is where you get to see champions prevail. You get to see the best of the best duking it out. It's all right here. The Maryland National Race with the Hot Tech World Cup Finals is where my wives go.
you're headed to the lanes and your helmet's on, gear's on, it's it's race time and you do what you gotta do. It doesn't, you don't think about the car, you don't second guess the car, you can't. If you're thinking about that, you can't perform as a driver. So you have to just trust that it's, it's gonna work. Um, so it, in that end of it, I don't feel like it had much effect. Maybe, maybe the other way in that, well, things haven't been going our way, so I have to do more as a driver. I have to do better as a driver. I have to push myself harder and, and in order to try to make up for deficiencies on a mechanical thing that's going on, perhaps.
when things don't go as planned, especially at an event like World Cup, it can be very challenging. Um, you just have to remember something my dad always says is I over E, and that's something we practice here, and that's intelligence over emotions. Of course, you're going to be devastated and upset. You traveled all all this distance. Um, you know, we've worked all year for this event. Um, everybody that's there has done the same thing, you know, so just keeping that in mind. Um, just be as prepared as possible. Um, communicate as good as we can when we're out there and do what we got to do to make it to the next round or to make what we need to happen happen. struggles it's not the same old test and tune even if your track's good and practicing it just it's a different animal yeah like throwing rods was like man that's happened to us before because i've ran parts for too long this is all brand new stuff and i'm like what is going on it didn't really stress me out it's just obviously everybody's like questions but we got like cole and james they're going over all the data and giving me some feedback like there's nothing major to change and I know that they're going to look at all the data and come back and then we'll agree like, yep, that definitely looks like a move in the right direction. Like, let's let's try that. I'm down. Um, you know, and then you go out and you feel I mean, sometimes you feel like, OK, this is probably going to help. And then uh, then kind of the same thing happens and you're like scratching your head. Like, how did that just happen again when we changed this thing back? And then the next day it's like, 
okay, well, let's put everything back to the way it was. Okay, so we do that. Um, you know, Ricky's refabbing stuff, putting it back the way that, you know, we thought we improved. And it's just, um, yeah, I just, just feels, I just feel like you just got to work through it every day. And like I said, just before bed, it's like, I'm not done until I feel like the car is ready to fire. Go ahead, Tony. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gossip and interview. You can't lose, G. Overstand the rules. See the style get rude when you witness the guard of the room. Singing shit smooth to make you move. The show improve. Just attract the lot. Yeah, I'm hot like what? Up in your face with the product. No hesitation in the world of frustration. Cause you face it. The room is for
haven't had that many failures in an event and I don't I don't think ever the amount of how extreme everything was and how much damage there was repeatedly uh, I think it's something kind of new for us this year but we've always learned more from failures than from success it's like when the car just works and you can just make pass after pass after pass you're not really learning anything it's just copy machine spitting out copies of the same run over and over and over we have run so many 7-0s it's it's just kind of boring and frustrating um, so every time something fails and goes wrong there's something to learn from it a lot of times it's really hard to figure that all out at the race at the track there's just too much going on too much stress too many people there's just so much going on that you can't always isolate it and figure it out while you're there but it's all over now we can sit back and look at things more closely really find what was different what changed why and uh, actually make changes that should have an effect positively next year so I haven't really spent a lot of time thinking about the race because it didn't go well it's like okay well that was a race that didn't go well it's come and gone Let's move on and uh, be a, a new season next year and we can make those adjustments and you know you always have confidence that you'll you'll get it figured out so I think we we've learned a lot even though we haven't figured it out yet exactly I know that we learned or we're going to learn something from all those failures.